Well, holiday travel is picking up, but with still some uncertainty on the international front, domestic destinations continue to see the highest demand. And travel expert Janine Tornator joins us again with our travel plans. Always good to have you. Janine, how are you? I'm great. Great to be here. Good, good. All right, so the busiest days for holiday travel are different this year. What should travelers know and prepare for? And uh, what should we be looking for as we take a trip over the holidays? Now, I'll tell you one thing. I actually, it was a quick trip, but I flew on Thanksgiving Day, easy peasy and cheap. And I don't know if that goes the same for Christmas Day. Yeah, actually traveling on the holidays is one of the best ideas if you have that flexibility. Christmas Day, New Year's Day also mm -hmm. on the tail end. Um, generally that week of between Christmas starting around the 23rd through New Year's, the 31st are go is going to be a very busy travel period. So if you have the flexibility and you want to get away, I suggest between now and that week of Christmas, or if you want to wait until the new year and use some of the vacation days after January 1, that's where you're going to find some of the better availability and definitely better deals on flight. Yeah, not to mention wherever you do wind up, it probably won't be as crowded either. Exactly. And traveling midweek as well. So, you know, avoiding those weekends, you know, we're going to talk about some ski resorts and those ski resorts are always busiest on the weekend. So Monday through Thursday travel will net you not just better deals, but a lot less crowds in these destinations. Absolutely. Now you mentioned ski resorts. Uh, are those where travelers are headed this year and uh, where other what are the other places and what changes should we expect when it comes to capacity and COVID protocols? Yeah, well, as you mentioned, most travelers over this holiday winter season are staying here domestic. And we're seeing that beach and ski destinations are the primary places where they're looking. So people are really still looking for those places where they can kind of spread out and be outdoors. Now, ski destinations are where we're seeing the most changes in protocols from last year. You know, I don't know if you remember last year, there were a lot of protocols put in place, capacity limits on the mountains, reservations required for lift tickets mm -hmm. even. A lot of that primarily has gone away this year. So no more capacity limits on the major mountains, no more reservations needed for lift tickets, and no more masking up outdoors. So you can get on the lift, ski down, no masks. Masks still required primarily just in indoor venues. So that's really good news for travelers, especially if so many more people are expected in these ski destinations this year. Yeah, now I, I know uh, the rest, of, a lot of the rest of the country is already dealing with winter and they have, it is cold. It's hard to believe because we're here in Vegas where the weather is still way above normal. Um, are, there, are, are there great destinations in and around Las Vegas that we should be checking out? And, and is the weather have to do with that? Sure. Well, yeah, you guys are obviously in great a great weather destination. And I would say for people who are looking for that kind of warm weather escape, head a little bit farther south. Palm Springs is always a really mm -hmm. nice option. Um, San Diego, also a nice option. Both of those places having a lot of hotel inventory, so you can still certainly find availability in those places. Now, I would also mention a lot of the ski resorts this year are having a really big banner year. We were watching some footage of places like Aspen, which is celebrating its 75th anniversary mm -hmm. this year. They have a normal schedule of events back in place for the season. They have a new dining on Mountain, um, their iconic Limelight Hotel right in downtown Aspen, just underwent a major renovation. So that's big news there. Places like Beaver Creek, they have a new terrain opening their McCoy Park, which is over 250 acres of new beginner and intermediate terrain. Their cookie time is back. So when you get off those lifts at Beaver Creek, they always give you warm chocolate chip cookies. Yum. That is back this year. Um, and Copper Mountain, also a big one too. They have new terrain that they've added called their Western Territory, great for families and kids. And they're really big on um, events. So things like the Dew Tour and the U.S. Toyota Grand Prix, those big spectator events where you see the half pipes and all those fun things, those are back this year. Good. which will be really fun given that we're going into an Olympic year. So a lot of new things I think people are going to be looking forward to in these ski destinations as well. I'm, I'm all in on that. Uh, Janine, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We'll check you next time. My pleasure. All right, and we'll be right back.